welcome guys to let's talk diesel in today's video we're gonna talk about the after treatment assembly for volvos between 2011 and 2016 years as you can see this one we have the uh, dpf assembly in here and the cr supposed to be here but we already removed it but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit first we're gonna check it out each part of the after treatment device and then we're gonna talk about the electrical harness that goes around as you can see the after treatment uh, the dpf assembly it's all this part in here okay the first thing we have is the doc you can see all this part in here is the doc up to here in all their ball balls between 2000 uh, i believe 2008 and 2009 this part comes apart too, this part on the top. It was supposed to be three clamps instead of two, uh, but they probably realized there wasn't no point just to leave it, uh, just to separate this part from these because uh, usually the DOC, they just blow it with air to clean it. So uh, Philip Bolbo say, no, we, we're just wasting money with an, an extra clamp so we're gonna get rid of that and make just one assembly with this doc and the inlet part of the doc all right so first thing we have in here it's the inlet the doc inlet all right you can see there we'll be, we will talk about the sensor a little bit in a little bit right Okay, we say DOC is in here, all this part in here. This part in here that you see, this one in here, is the DPF. And the other part at the bottom is where the mix occur with the uh, DEF, uh, flu with the DEF. You can see here, and it travels to the DOC, to the, sorry, to the SCR. All right, these are the, uh, if you wanna put it this way, four components for the after treatment device in the, uh, in these bulbs. DOC, DPF, the mixer chamber, you can see in here. And uh, we have here the SCR, all right? supposed to be there <laughs> okay now we're gonna talk about the harness because many uh, people usually ask me oh where is this sensor in the dpf or where is this sensor in the scr so we're gonna explore about the harness right now okay this part that you see here the one that's uh, covered with the silver tape or the insulation tape uh, is the one that comes from the main harness okay the main uh, after treatment harness so this junction in here this, this junction that you see in here uh, first we can follow the harness from here you can see it travels this way and all this tangled harness that you see here comes up to here and you can see this is the sensor this is the doc inlet temperature sensor that's the first one right now we're gonna just check it out the temperature sensors you see the next one in here you can see this one in here is the doc or doc uh, outlet temperature sensor or dpf in the inlet temperature sensor they, they can be called whatever in you know in whatever the technicians want it has two names though 
and the third one that's way here on the bottom you can see there is the dpf outlet temperature sensor all right so that's all about the sensors that's all the temperature sensors that uh volvo after treatment device with this design has there's no another one there's, there's, those are the only three all right now we're gonna talk about the delta pressure sensor that's located here on the side of the of the filter on top of the uh, doc you can see it has uh, three connections in here and it has two uh, lines pressure lines this is the one the thick one the thick line that you see in here is the uh, the inlet pressure the dpf inlet pressure and the other line that you see the thin one the one that goes in the bottom is the doc the dpf outlet pressure sensor okay so that's about the delta pressure sensor uh if you a uh, little bit uh one tip that i can give you to you guys if you see this part on the back is smoke is is black in here it probably means this part the deep this small cover that you see on the back is broken and you should replace the uh, the delta pressure sensor for the dpf uh usually many drivers had that problem they say uh, it's doing region constantly and that might help to your problem that will be one of the issues you might have now we're gonna continue talking about the NOx sensors uh Volvo has one NOx sensor located in here this is the hole but the NOx sensor is missing um, and as you can see if you follow it should be around this way like this and go around here and connect to this in here okay see we have four wires here and like let me see if it still has the name you see this one you see dpf nox that's what i do like from volvo their tags really last real a lot compared to the problem it's like sometimes they paint it with the uh, with the chassis and they messed up then then you cannot see it anymore the uh the name of the and the harness the name of the connectors but that's cool they really last and the last one the, the nox that's the inlet right and this is the outlet that you see hanging in here it is supposed to be uh the elbow supposed to be like this in here holding like this together with this part in here and here and you can see this is the the nox outlet sensor that's the last sensor that you will find in this design for the scr right now i'm gonna take my time to talk about the scr But before we start talking about the SCR, I want to show you where the NOx sensor connects. And as you can see, we already talked about the part on the bottom, but as you can notice, this truck has no cab. So it's easier to show you guys where the NOx sensor connects. As you can see, that's where it connects inside the chassis. You see close to this chassis over there it's actually well insulated compared to other knock sensors they have seen there really close to the after treatment device so you can see if you follow this if you follow if you follow this line here you see it goes way down there okay and you can see this part of the harness Okay. this part of the harness is where the knock sensor connects okay it goes way back to it goes way back here let me remove this you can see if we follow go way here and connects in there mm -hmm. to here okay 
and the last part about the after treatment assembly it's the def injector you see it's not here anymore but and they already cut the wires because probably they need the connector uh, but it's easy to remove just one two three screws uh, torx 5 uh, we have the coolant lines in here two coolant lines and uh, the def line coming from the pump uh, uh, another tip that i have for you guys if you don't find any coolant leak you should look around this area sometimes these uh, little hoses they break around this area in here or on the back uh, let me see if you can see it here they usually break from this part in here too yeah you see over there these two uh, they break from this so if you have any coolant leak and you cannot find it it might start leaking from there uh, but you, they usually break like completely they start leaking a little bit and then completely broke uh, so pay attention to that and right now we're gonna talk about the SCR all right guys this is the other piece missing from the after treatment assembly and as you can see the SCR is very simple on Volvos it only has these two holes and as you can see here this this here this hole in here is the inlet side of the SCR and this other hole in here is the outlet very simple right as you can see you can see the the SCR inside there Seems this one is already gone it's no it's not passing the efficiency test that's the reason we replace it the, uh, um, the SCR light won't, wouldn't go away so we exchange it with the one with you were, with you were checking about uh, you know and as you can see um, I'm going to show you that's really simple to remove we just have to lose this nut in here these two nuts these anchors in here they will get loose and from the bottom side you see there's nothing to be removed it's just sitting in a pin in there so it's not that hard to replace it if you get a new SCR I believe you will have to replace this plate the heat shield plate in here you see it so that will be it as you can see it's very simple uh nothing complicated and i really uh do like this design from volvo uh very uh, strange that they replace it for the newer design that i believe is a little bit more uh more expensive compared to this one but we'll see uh how that design lasts in the long run so now the, we had checked the after treatment system on these uh, older Volvos the first thing I can say is related to the DPF assembly uh, it's uh, easier to remove uh, clamps and sensors because uh, every single time they have work on it it's really rare the one sensor requires a lot of, like a heat to remove it uh, maybe it's just uh, how the vehicles travel around California or uh, I don't know about East parts you know the one they have a lot of snow especially since they use a lot of salt on the snow and it gets into all the you know these parts inside the nuts and they get stuck but in general I have no problems related to the after the DPF uh, assembly in order to remove clamps or sensors uh, the other thing that I do like is related to the SCR because it's a 
it's a it's very simple it has no sensors if you want to replace it you just take out the old one install the new one uh probably you might need to do regen but that's it there's nothing else to do you don't have to replace sensors nothing else it's a very simple part that's a good point for volvos uh i do believe that if you take care of your after treatment device it will last long with this design so that will be it for me today thanks for watching guys and it's my pleasure to show you how these things works uh out in Please subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.